Hello and welcome to the channel. The postponement of the governorship election by Heineck might actually turn out to be a blessing in disguise for most political parties in Delta State as they try to formulate new strategies to topple the moving train that is Labour Party. Labour Party swept through the state in the last presidential election like a tornado and this has caused palpable fears among the contestants, especially those who already thought they had the ticket in the bag. Will the Labour Party continue with its momentum gained from the presidential election and continue with its foot on the opposition party's neck? Subscribe, like, share and comment. Thank you. Battle for South South Obedient, threatening, or bore worry, or more against chances in Delta. There is a great probability that the upshots of the February 25th presidential and national assembly elections may affect the voting pattern in the governorship and House of Assembly elections in some states of the South South on Saturday, but the certainty is subject to changeable political dynamics. In Delta State, for instance, where the leading governorship candidates are Sheriff Obore Wuri of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, and Senator Ovie Omoagege of the Hull Progressives Congress, APC, the exploit of the Labour Party, LP, in the polls in question has made the underrated obedience an important factor in the March 18 polls. Mind you, obedience are not members of the LP alone. They are groups of citizens, especially youths with permanent voters' cards, PVCs, who believe that it is time to flush away the whole brigade of politicians ruling the country and state all these years and install fresh hands. They are more in number than registered political party members who make the loudest noise during elections. Sheriff Obore Wuri, Speaker of Delta State House of Assembly and the standard bearer of the ruling PDP, who is the candidate to beat on March 18, has anxiously lobbied the obedience in the state for support in the past few days. APC's Ovie Omoagege, who is the Deputy Senate President, Olorogun Kenneth Bagi of the Social Democratic Party SDP, Chief Great Ogboro of the All Progressives Grand Alliance Abgar, Comrade Sonny Ofehe of the Young Progressives Party YPP, are also in pursuit of the obedience even though the LP has a governorship candidate in the person of Ken Pella. The governorship candidates are not the only ones tracking the obedience. The House of Assembly candidates are trailing the LP revolutionists to churches, markets, and even and every public places they know they are gathered in their areas, seeing what they did on February 25th. The fear of the obedience is now the commencement of political wisdom in Delta State. Following reports that the LP was negotiating with Governor Infani Okowa ahead of Saturday's polls, the state chairman, Tony Eziagu, during the week, the sound the claim saying the party has its candidate, Ken Pella. I want the general public to know that the LP in Delta State has no business with Governor Okowa, the PDP or any other party in the state. As a party, we have not discussed anything of such with Okowa, we have not even held any meeting with him, and we do not intend to do so. Curiously, while Eze Agu said LP had no business with PDP or any other party, a coalition of support groups for Peter Obi in the state, led by Mr. Oshuko Edafe, Monday in Asaba, pitched tent with Omo Agege, saying the obedience in the state would vote him because he is the most credible candidate for governor. Indeed, the LP shook the table in Delta on February 25th with PDP losing 18 out of the 25 local government areas in the state to the LP. It lost two House of Representative seats to the LP. Mr. Ungozi Okolie, who flew the party's flag in Aniosha and Oshimili Federal constituency, defeated the minority leader of the House and candidate of the PDP, Undudi Elumelu. Former member of the House of Representatives, Evelyn Oboro, who flew the flag of the PDP in the Okbe Saple Uwe Federal Constituency, bowed to LP's Ben Etena Bene. APC, which is the main opposition party in the state, won the Delta South and Delta Central senatorial seats, 
threatening the chances of PDP, which only won the Delta North senatorial seat in the March 11 polls. However, PDP won six House of Representatives seats in the state, APC won and LP2. Many think the upsets may affect the governorship and House of Assembly elections with the LP candidate, Ken Pella, becoming a major beneficiary. Nevertheless, it does not appear so on the ground. Saturday's governorship battle is likely to be a different ball game between Obore Wuri, who has the support of youths across the state because of his sociable nature, and Omo Agege. Propelled more by politicians who lost out in the power game with Governor Ifan Yokoa, the main promoter of Obore Wuri, and some citizens that feel disgruntled with PDP in the state. Despite contesting on the platform of SDP, Bagi, a lawyer and former Minister of State Education, is on a firm pedestal as one of the frontrunners. The combined factors of a respectable background and a broad-based vision of governance have led a tremendous impact on his penetration of demographic groups with the resultant swell of a support base for him across the 25 local government areas of Delta State. Subscribe, like, share, comment and please turn the notification bell on. Thank you. It is to his credit that he had stayed the course since 2019 when he unveiled interest in occupying the plum position. The serial endorsements of the SDP candidate by Deltans is an approbation of Baggy's six-point agenda primed to usher in all-around development and progress, industrialization, enhanced security, quality education, job creation, and women and youth empowerment. To a large extent, Baggy's presence in the race has promoted greater scrutiny of the moral character and antecedents of those seeking the governorship office. His disposition towards probity, transparency, and frugality in resource management, added to his unblemished record in public service, provides a counterpoise to the alleged corrupt background and unexplained wealth allegedly associated with some of the top contestants. Baggy, who sees himself as the biggest investor in Delta, and said the era of the experiment was gone, Delta must be run by a wealth creator and someone with the experience and capacity to turn the fortunes of the state around. That's the news, guys. Thanks for listening. Until next time, bye.